Hey, DT here. Today we're gonna do our first golf product video. It's gonna be about something simple, but something I've been looking forward to doing, and it is the Birdie Liner. Birdie Liner, golf ball alignment marking tool. We're gonna get this guy opened up and see what it can do in marking up some golf balls, and we'll see what you think. All right, stick with me here. All right, so the Birdie Liner made in China, but purchased on amazon.com. I'll drop a link in the description below and you can check this out as well. I looked at a number of different ones. This one was kind of in the, a little bit higher of a, a price range, but it looked like it had some nice features. So we're gonna open it up and we'll check it out. All right. So I'm gonna give you first impressions here. The box has never been opened and I've never really had one of these alignment marking tools before. So you know, you've got, uh, I've got tailor-made tour response. I haven't been bold enough to uh, outlay the 50 plus dollars per dozen for the Titleist Pro V1s. So sticking with a slightly lower priced ball, but you know, you can see on on these kind of balls they they actually have a little bit of if i can get this if i can get this open <laughs> they actually have an alignment marking tool somewhat you could see that on there but you know with an alignment marking tool and you see the professionals do this all the time they've got a a straight line going almost all the way around the ball they really use that to line up their putts not sure if it's going to really help me at the end of the day. I'm not at that quite at that level. Uh, uh, I was, I was never at that level, but, but somewhat decent. Maybe there'll be a point in the future where lining up my putts with a, an alignment marking tool will be extremely helpful. We'll see. Money. So this birdie liner alignment marking tool comes with the actual tool to hold the ball and make the lines as well as some Sharpie markers. So let's get this open. The first thing I notice is that there's some tape right there that tells me that this box has never been opened. So I know how important that is, but we'll see. All right. Okay, so plastic box, three, a red, blue, and black Sharpie marker, branded by the way, and the actual alignment marking tool. So this is, this is what it looks like here. And the idea is you can get the ball all the way into this tool use these red holders on the side and you can spin the you can spin the ball around if you will so pretty neat out of the gate let's check this out so again i've got a tailor made tour response ball and what i want to do is put an alignment line all the way around the ball similar to the alignment line that they have right now but it's much smaller, so we'll see if we can line this up. So I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna pop the ball in here. Goes in pretty easily. It's definitely snug. It's not coming out, even if I kind of tug on it just a tiny little bit. So that's pretty neat. So it's definitely secure. So what I'm gonna do next is I'll I'll move this ball around so that I can see the current alignment line there, and I'll line it up with the main center line in the tool itself. Okay, that took me a moment, but I'm sure it'll be a little easier the the second and uh, third and so on, fourth time down the road. I'll just square that up just a tiny little bit more. All right, so I've got it squared up in there. You can see the alignment line currently on the ball. I've got it lined up in the center line there. And then the easy thing or nice thing about this, you can just rotate using these two small little pegs on the side. You can rotate 
this around the ball and then we'll drag the branded Sharpie marker and we'll see how this goes. So I'll pop out, let's go with the blue marker this first time around. So you can get a little, little holder on there for if you want to dangle this off a keychain maybe. Not sure I'm going to do that, but all right. So we've got this, we've got the ball lined up. All right, that's looking good so far. And I'll just rotate. I'll rotate the marker, the actual marking tool itself around the ball. And again, just use these two little things on the side. You can move around pretty easily. Link to this exact product on Amazon in the description below. You can check it out and compare it against the other ones that are out there as well, similar to what I did. All right, let me set this down. And here we go, moment of truth, we're gonna pop the ball out. Comes out relatively easy, but again, kept it real snug in there. And let's take a look at that. Now I've got a line going all the way around perfectly. Can line this up roll this right in to the hole. <laughs> Pretty neat little tool. The first time I ever really saw the multiple lines on the ball. So with this one we just put one, but we have the we have the potential with the tool to add three different lines as well as some kind of crosses across those lines. The first time I ever saw something with multiple lines on it and so we'll mark that up right now we just got this single one on there first time i ever saw the multiple lines on a ball i have the opportunity to volunteer at the dell match play tournament at the world golf championships event here in austin texas and have the also the fortunate opportunity to be a walking scorer so i'm inside the ropes scoring a match alongside two players and phil mickelson gave me a ball at the end of his match went 18 holes with Jason Day he just edged out Jason Day it was a Friday had a fun time with him but he gave me a, his golf ball and you can see I had never seen this before but he has three lines now this is I think uh, created by Callaway itself so we can use the alignment tool to add those those three extra lines in doing the research for buying this particular one, the vendor referenced pictures of various balls with various alignment lines on them. One ball just having a single alignment line and then another ball having multiple ones. And they were showing that if you have multiple alignment lines, it will help you line it up even better than if it just had one single line. So pretty neat. We can definitely try that out and see if it helps at all. But hopefully this is interesting for you, kind of give you an inside look at whether or not you want to spend the 15, 20 bucks on, on one of these little tools. You know, the things that I was looking for when, when I purchased this particular one and I'm happy with it thus far, I think I'll probably add some of my own Sharpies. Not sure how long these branded small little Sharpie markers are going to go, but nonetheless, I can add my own. But what I did like about this particular one was the ball pops all the way into the tool itself, so you're not fidgeting around trying to hold the ball in there in place. So you can pop the ball in. It locks in place really well. I like these two little things that come off the side, and it allows you to easily spin the tool itself around the ball as the ball stays stationary. Overall, pretty happy with the purchase. Hey, if you've used an alignment marking tool of your own, drop a comment below and let folks know what you've learned, whether it's helped your putting at all. And if this was helpful for you, smash the like button. Let me know also in the comments below if you'd like to see maybe some other golf gear review videos. I'm gonna be making some other purchases in the near future to review some items that line up with, with what I'd like to focus on during the, the off season. You know, kind of neat that just a small little thing of marking up an existing golf ball will completely change how you play the game potentially. 
So neat how things kind of evolve forward without really making any sort of material changes to the component itself. And you'll notice that Phil did not sign this ball anywhere. Phil told me that he would sign literally anything else except a golf ball. And I presume that he doesn't sign golf balls due to the arthritis that he's been dealing with for a good bit of his career. Kind of neat that he came over, shook my hand, spent a little time with me and gave me gave me one of his golf balls. Appreciate you stopping by. Please subscribe. It gives me some positive reinforcement to continue to lean into some of these videos. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.